OMG BBG. Welcome back to another unboxing and review video. This is the July issue of the Coral Coral and we've been hanging on to it for a little bit now, finally getting to this unboxing. And it's honestly pretty sick because we get this special part in this box. This is drawn sword with metal coat blue and it looks so nice. It's unreal. Yeah, exactly. This is kind of like a Japanese tradition being able to buy a magazine and then getting like a special gift from it. But yeah, honestly, getting a Coral Coral, being able to buy this at a store locally must be so exciting because you get so many cool freebies. A little bit of a throwback here, but this is the first chapter of the Beyblade X manga that came with a Coral Coral last year that Steven picked up, right? Yep, and of course, us being the Beyblade collector, we gotta get all the souvenirs from these magazine releases. This issue here actually came with this little dragon passport, which is kind of cool. Nice little collectible. They made it look like a Japanese passport and it has like a little calendar in there and a day planner. Yeah, neat little thing, little freebie. It's kind of cool. All right, let's dive into the Coral Coral magazine now. We want to remind you guys though, if you want to get the new issue of the Coral Coral every single month, you can check out our friends over at Zen Market. We've told you a billion times that you can buy your Beyblades on Zen Market, but it's not just Bays. Zen Market can help you purchase all sorts of Japanese goods and get it straight to your door. This includes food, manga, clothes, pretty much anything you can think of. You will have access to over 10,000 stores like Yahoo Auctions, Rakuten, Rakuma, Makari, Amazon Japan, and so much more. If you are looking for Beyblade products, you can buy your base from official stores like Takeratomi Mall through Zen Market. All you have to do is copy the link and paste it into the Zen Market search bar to shop from stores not integrated into Zen Market's website. Zen Market will attach a small 500 yen fee to each item you're purchasing, but we got you covered. We now have an even larger sign up bonus if you sign up with our link. You'll get a thousand Zen points that you can use towards your international shipping. One Zen point equals one yen. Don't sleep on Zen Market because they're running a variety of sales and promotions all the time, so check back regularly. Sign up for an account and go buy those bays or any other kind of Japanese goods. Okay, let's take a look. We do have the newest manga chapter in here and we're not gonna show you guys that. <laughs> you guys can read that on your own. All right, let's see, where's the Beyblade goods? And, oh, I see the first one. Oh yes, right here, let's go. So this is like a little comic or a little manga sneak peek that has the origin story of this blue drawn sword that we're getting with this. So is it canon? Mm, I, don't, I don't know, hard to say, you know? Did they just add it in just for the promo of this item? But we're gonna rip that out and show you guys a little bit of that. Nice, yeah, the beginning of the Koro Koro magazine usually shows like the promotional materials and they're in the colored pages. Yep, yep, yep. And here, uh, oh, let's go. The new release coming out in July. We actually have a lot of stuff coming out in July, but this is the main one, I'd say. Cobalt Dragoon. Yeah, nice little poster here, but this is gonna be the first ever left spinning Beyblade X Bay. Yeah, finally, a left spin bay. The entire Beyblade community has been waiting ages for this. <laughs> so, basically, like a full year since the launch of Beyblade X, we are finally getting our left spin. And, yeah, more details of that on this side. Nice. So, it shows some of the parts. We got 260 and we got the new bit, which is C, which is a uh, cyclone. And yo guys, like, come on, man. It's totally screaming longness. Look at the bit. And of course, El Drago, that star shaped bit. Also got that blue colorway that kind of reminds me of Pegasus. But yeah, first left spin, it's definitely going to change up the game. Yo, for real, cannot wait for those head to head attacks from a left spin versus a right spin. Those battles are just always extra epic, honestly. And over here, we have the next bay, which is Black Shell, and that's a defense type. So yes, a tortoise or a turtle here, and hopefully it changes the game because our defense types are really weak right now. Do you guys think it's gonna be a game changer or what? Man, this is just crazy because they're reusing the Dragoon name and now we're getting pretty much like a Drasil. With us now having Vice Tiger, it's pretty much like the Four Saints reuniting. You guys probably know the parts already as well, but we get 460 and then we get D for the tip. The D tip. And it's Dot. 
bringing back all of those little circles, the little dots on like a ball bit. This is a design that has been implemented multiple times in the past and they never end up being that great of a bit or a driver or whatever, a performance tip. But, you know, Beyblade X, of course, they'll have to introduce it again, right? Flipping the page once more, we got, uh, oh, yeah, recommended combos for our drawn sword, Metal Coat Blue. And this page right here, we got Beyblade X Zone, the video game. We did a video on this as well, so if you guys aren't aware, there is a Nintendo Switch video game coming out, and you do get an exclusive bay, which is Shinobi Knife. And that's pretty much it for the Beyblade stuff, which means we need to now go back to this. We get our origin story of Common X. Oh no, I'm ripping this a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay guys, still pretty good. Oh, nice. Oh, tore it a little bit. Oh, <laughs> all good, right? Nice, it's a mini booklet introducing our blue drawn sword. So after quickly skimming through it, it's actually a cute little story about Common X. When he was younger, it looks like he was given this bay drawn sword, metal coat blue from his master. Of course, he loved the bay and then he trained hard with it, chipping the paint and everything. It's then suggested that the drawn sword that we are all familiar with is the same metal coat one, but with all the paint chipped away from rigorous training and usage. Or maybe he just used sandpaper to chip it down. Just kidding. <laughs> okay there. <laughs> and now let's look at the actual product. This is what we're here for, right? Yes, sir. Our exclusive souvenir. So this is actually pretty heavy. The box definitely has more in it than just the Beyblade X blade. I'm assuming it has some other products in there. That's why there's promos for it and whatnot. But yeah, Metal Coat Blue Drawn Sword has some stats on the back. Let's open it up. This is the only way to get it, so excited. Oh, oh. trading cards and whatnot. We don't need to even look at that stuff. <laughs> we ain't about that life. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we even got a stack of trading cards from Oh, Vanguard card fight. Okay, makes sense. Very nice. So people that are into that will enjoy it. But we're here for this, guys. This is what we're here for. Look at that colorway. Wow. I was gonna call it Cobalt Drake. <laughs> yeah, it actually does look like it. It is Drawn Sword. Oh, beauty. Yeah, and very similar colorway to Cobalt Drake. I guess they are from the same team, so it's fitting. But okay, what I want to find out is, how much does it actually weigh? Yep, the moment of truth. Picked out a few of our different variations of Drawn Sword to weigh it against this one. Is this going to be the heaviest version, our painted version? Let's see, 35.2 grams. Okay, okay. Pretty good start, over 35, right? Um, now, we got a few different versions here. Let's do this black version that we have from like a random booster or something. Okay, the random booster, 34.73 grams. Okay, yeah, so quite a bit heavier than this version. This one here is one of the first ones too. This is from the actual battle set when Beyblade Burst launched. A 35.14 grams. Wow, okay, pretty close to the painted one, pretty close. That's a pretty big difference though compared to like the black one. True. So... Now our original, this is like our first one, our first drawn sword legit that we got from Japan. 35.48 grams. God damn, yo, our original one is just so heavy compared to the rest of them, holy. That's super interesting because Takara Tomi always wanted us to think that the painted blades are heavier. Not always true. Yeah, so we got a decent mold with our metal coat blue. It's not the heaviest, clearly our original is sick, but you know, it's got a decent weight, not the lowest. Here's a quick side-by-side -side next to Cobalt Drake, pretty much like the original painted metal blade. Man, look at the difference though, like one super beat up, one perfect. And that wraps up our unboxing on our Metal Coat Blue Drawn Sword Blade. Looks so good. I'm not gonna battle with it, our original one is heavier, but yo, it's so nice to look at. Definitely need to pick up a few more. The variation in weight depending on the mold that you get is super interesting. Overall, really cool release. We only get the blade from this magazine, but I feel like that's worth our money already. Yep, 
But yeah, that is everything, guys. So we'll catch you in the next one. Remember to like this video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks out!